Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are taking a look at Shadow High Series 3. We do have a full set. So up here we have Pinky James, Rosie Redwood, Scarlet Rose, Berry Skies, Oliver Ocean, and Lavender Lynn. And this is them in the front of their packaging. We've got like a slight redesign, definitely a lot more colorful than the last ones. And then there's like little personalized decals on each box that relate to the personality of the doll inside of them. The back of the box features a Polaroid of the characters. There's only two variations for all six dolls. We have this one where Oliver's in the middle, we have Pinky on the left and Lavender on the right, and then this one has Rosie in the middle with Scarlet on the left and Barry on the right, and they all say, the students at Shadow High always let their true colors shine. So we're definitely like rebranding Shadow High a bit to be more friends of rainbow high is the vibe i think that's the gig that's what we're doing so it's interesting for sure but enough of the packaging let's get them all out of the box so we can take a look at all of them all right we have everybody out of the box so let's take a look at our accessories real quick i did want to show everybody's focuses so pinky is a film focus rosie is cosmetology scarlet is creative writing barry is computer computer animation oliver is music which is okay and then lavender is photography focus i feel like some of these focuses like they could totally be different things like pinky could be like media focus and she's a streamer rosie makes sense to me scarlet makes sense to me barry like could have been just tech i feel like computer animation is not what she's really giving she's giving more just like tech in general and then Oliver would have made more sense as like a sports focus, but they don't have, I don't know. It's like they've put themselves into a box of what focuses they can have when really there's no rules to it. So yeah, whatever. So first things first, everybody has their own color coordinated stand. Funnily enough, Rosie's is pretty pink as opposed to red, but the doll's red, so not sure and then i only have four combs here that is because pinky and oliver did not include a comb so oh no what a loss for us all all right so starting with pinky our first accessory is this pair of like pair of it's a headset this headset this cat ear headset super cute says shadow on the side there's lots of sculpt details in there let's or lots of details in the sculpt there's a little microphone hanging off the side I love her being a streamer. I think that is so funny. I don't know why. I just love it. And then she has this pair of pink sunglasses. There is lots of like pearl details over here on the arm and on the frames. The lenses have a shadow high monogram engraved into them. And then there's the side. Oh, is there something on the little bit of the arm right there? No, nope, that's just funny. Whatever it is. Oh my gosh. This new camera just loves it. Go out of focus. And then she has this Chow Max game guide, like, <laughs> like you would get for a real game. Uh, just has a bunch of, like, random text. Although this little avatar looks like her, so it's kind of funny that she's on the guide. And here's the back. It's the ultimate guide to Chow Max. She must be, like, a really popular streamer if she's getting her name or her face on magazines. And this is, like, a legitimate like guide but none of this like none of the words are legit well some of them are but for the most part it's just like random text but i think it's really cool that this is legit and not just like a front cover type of thing i think that's fun. and then the last accessory that pinky has is this little switch there's little cat ears on it you can see all the little buttons or i'm sorry this probably isn't a nintendo switch it's a uh, gaming console gaming console it looks like she's playing a game where you dress your avatar up it would have been funny if they put like rainbow high runway rush on here that would have been cute the back fit says sh shadow high anti-sparkle established 2022 rosie comes with our standard shadow or makeup palettes that we're used to seeing this one is shadow high silver details and then it's like you know the eyeshadow palette but this one's kind of cool because it's a translucent red there's the mirror it works really well of course and then we have you know, like this one is what i call the face palette so it has a little Versace head and then the different colors and then the mirror I'm kind of over these I'm not gonna lie they're cute but I'm kind of over them we do have a new palette though here with this like blush it has her little symbol on the like embossed into it and then there is this mirror and there's a little handle on this one and then there's a shadow high 
right there with lots of details on the skull. And then she has this little drink that is strikingly shadow cherry flavored and the straw is like removable. So that's really cute. You get a little, little plastic straw. You know, we'll find a way to make a plastic straw. <laughs> Scarlet has this pair of black sunglasses with silver hardware and there's a little shadow written over there in the corner of the lens and it is like a burgundy lens color and that's how the rest of them look just like that Could pull up the other side maybe just like that and then she has two Storywood books the one is Storywood and the Enchanted Princesses and then the other one is just a Storywood fairy tale Oz it says on it these are really cool like they have full covers and they are full books like there's text in them and I think that is so amazing I know we were like thinking that the budget had significantly decreased from series two but I think it just went into different things because this is pretty insane for a playline doll I feel like especially when that's only $24.99 I don't know I just feel like this is something that I'd find on Etsy for like $10 by itself so I wish this camera would focus on it. There we go. Look how pretty that sparkle, like, the cover is. And then she has a Shadow High journal, composition book kind of looking thing. This one is plastic, and then the pictures are just stickers, or the pages are just stickers, and there's, like, little silver details on it as well with a Shadow High lock. She has this silver pencil, and then she has a coffee cup where her name is written on in parentheses. I don't know why it's in parentheses, but it's cute. I like the coffee cup. So, Barry's first accessory is this really, really cool pair of sunglasses. They have a silver frame with a, like, green, minty, kind of minty-ish, green, translucent lens. And it says shadow across it. Here is the arms. Looks really cool and futuristic. Like, okay, come on. All right. There's a better view. Got that little baying out of the way so cool and then she has her little cell phone that is on the rainbow high web page instead of the shadow high one interesting and then these phones they don't have removable cases the cases are just part of the sculpt but we have a little like circuit board kind of moment going on in the back she also has an ipad or a tablet and then it looks like she is on not twitter <laughs> Uh, and her username is Coder Girl. She has 128,000. Is it 128? I think it's 128. Yeah, 128,000 followers. And there's a picture of her with Pinky right there with lots of likes and retweets. And it looks like Pinky's name on Twitter is. Wait, no, that's not a picture of her. I'm sorry. That's a picture of Lavender and Pinky. And that's either Lavender or Pinky's username right there. That is Tanzania. I want to say it's pinky, but the color scheme, like, in the picture looks more like lavender. So, I mean, who knows? Who really cares? But it's really cool to see. And the last thing she has is a Shadow High laptop. So cute. Silver. And then if you open it up, she's doing some coding, some hacking uh, on that. And then there's the keyboard. It has, like, a RGB light kind of moment going on there. So cool. I say RGB, there's no, there's literally no red or green, but y'all know what I mean, like, the way it fades. It looks like the back of her screen is all blurry. Oh my gosh, is she the one who hacked the page for the Rainbow High page to announce Shadow High? Oh my gosh, who knows? Oliver also has a pair of black sunglasses, but this one has blue frame, or lenses, and then there's a shadow right here in the top corner, and then the arms have a Shadow High logo on it. These ones are kind of similar to Scarlet's. So I think that's cute. Oh, they're kind of cute. I don't know if I love the shape of the frames here, but I mean, they're fun. And then he has a shadow high basketball in like a navy blue, all detailed, painted all around, and it feels great. Like it's very ASMR-y, you know? Yeah, so cute. I wish it was bouncy, but it's not, so sad. He has a bottle of Glitterade, the shadow remix flavor. And here is his phone. It looks like he's playing a basketball game. It looks like Shadow High 1. And then on the back, he has just like a blue Shadow High monogram for his case. And like, once again, like music focus? Girl, what? <laughs> and lastly, we have Lavender's accessories. She has this really intricate looking teacup with a Shadow High pattern. It's giving fine china for sure. Silver details all around. It comes with a matching plate. So you can place it on top like so. So there you go. 
Okay, this accessory I'm so excited for. We have a camera. It's just kind of a plain color, but it does have an attached ring light. The lens is colored in. And here is, oh, look, there's the picture she took with Pinky. Super cute. I mean, if that's the type of photography she does, all photography is valid. But I thought she took that from a phone. There is a little Shadow High logo on the top, and you can see all the little hardware or, or buttons and stuff. Oh, so cute. I love this. And then we have a scene or the scene magazine that comes with her. I'm assuming she took this photo. Like, I'm gonna, that's my headcanon. I'm going with it. It says Circuit Board Chic is this month's focus. Oh, I think it's literally, oh, no, it's not. So that doesn't have real stuff written right here, but we do have a picture of Carla. There's a picture of Sunny, Luna glitch neon shadow and sorry about the dog barking in the background we're just gonna go with it and then the back of it has ainsley with all the bags so cute all right finally moving on to our dolls the first doll we have is pinky james here is her face oh i just realized she has a pink eye oh i need these for a custom i was like wondering when we we're finally gonna get a pink eye but anyways here's, she has pink eyes a little blue in the middle she has a pink graphic liner moment, and then underneath she has a little bit of shadow, and she has, like, her shadow applied in this cloud, almost looking way on the, like, crease. So, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of cute. It's kind of weird. Like, it's not, like, shaped like a cloud officially. Uh, it looks like mine may have been over... I don't know what's going on with mine's brows, but... Yeah, that's interesting. And then a pink lip... Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. That's, that's as her. far as hair goes, she just has a full head of braids. Super cute, love that. There's various shades of pink in here. I am having a couple issues with mine right here. It's a little funny. And there's actually, like, product in him for some reason. Or maybe that's just... Like, there's a little bit of product, it feels like, at the very top. So that's interesting. And before anybody freaks out about her rooting looking like this, it is rooted like that for the braids specifically. You can't just root braids like you would normal hair. So please, let's let's not start that narrative again. And it does go all the way down to her ankles. Or not her ankles, but pretty close to her ankles. Bottom of her calves. You can see she also has sculpted baby hairs on her head. I'm not sure what head this is, but it is a 2023 one, so... She is wearing a pair of pink drawstring earrings, and these, like, totally threw me off and tripped me out because I thought they were real, like, looking at her in the box, and then they're just plastic, which is fine. I don't care that they're plastic, but it was just like, oh, those are plastic. Okay, work. Moving on to her outfit, she's wearing this top. So this part is denim, I think. Yeah, it feels like denim. We have some silver studs and a zipper in the front. And that's kind of like a dark purpley color. Uh, so it's an, an interesting combination with the neon pink sleeves that are made from like a puffy material. And these are pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. I like the sleeve. I like the idea of the sleeves. They do have working drawstrings on the top and the bottom. Although mine is like coming apart on this one. And then this side has an anti-sparkle patch, a dough patch, and an art sp or anti-sparkle patch. And it does use Velcro in the back. And it's all one piece, by the way. And if you look at this side, we have a shadow high patch, the sh to the doe patch, and then the like eclipse patch right here. Once again, working drawstrings on both sides. I see the idea. I don't even hate like the top. Like I think it's a cool idea. But I mean we'll get more into that. Anyway. She has long nails. They are pink with black tips. And then she's wearing this pleated skirt, once again, in that kind of like purple color. Uh, magenta. Magenta, that's the word I'm looking for. This has two little embroidered safety pins on it, and then it just uses Velcro in the back. This is where you lose me on this outfit, because I don't think it works with the skirt. I feel like maybe with, maybe if it was one dress that was all like this fabric, like a whole denim dress or cargo pants, it would have looked way better. I don't know. I just feel like this does not look like a finished look to me. This looks like a kid threw some random pieces on her, which is unfortunate because the base doll is really pretty. So yeah, moving on for her shoes. She has a pair of like translucent combat boots. They have gray soles and there is shadow high logos all around them. 
There is only one painted one though right there in the center. And here is the bottom. Let's see shadow. Looks really cool. Interesting boots. See, and like with the boots too, I just feel like cargo pants would have looked way better. I don't know. Just this whole outfit in general is just not like it is just not giving unfortunately moving on here is miss rosie redwood she has pretty simple makeup just like one kind of block of an orangey red shadow going on uh towards the inner corner on the bottom she does have some like pearl pearly shimmer on the corners of her eyes there really little blocky red brows with white streaks and then a shiny red glossy lip it's very classic i think it works for her she's cute her hair is a blend of red and pink nylon, and it's pulled up into two pigtails, a little haphazardly, I'm not gonna lie. The front part here is crimped, but then the back part is not crimped, and there is a lot of product in those crimps. And the part that's not crimped, like no product at all, and it does, it is wrapped, so points for that. I think she would have looked cute with like maybe like hime bangs, I don't know, something to do something with this forehead. She's got a lot of forehead. Like, she needs, she needs some, you know? Here's the back. Is it going to focus? There we go. She is wearing a pair of silver hoop earrings with a flower in the middle, and then there's a gemstone hanging off of the bottom. What's the other one? She is wearing a pretty simple red dress underneath her coat. I think it's a good base. I think a corset would help it a lot. There is an interesting little, like, scallopy looking pattern towards the top right here. And then that just uses Velcro in the back. I think it's really cool that it's not needing any type of straps to hold it up, though, for it being a sleeveless dress. Because usually they need, like, those little clear plastic straps. But not with Miss Rosie. Oh, there she goes. I would say Rosie's piece de resistance is definitely her coat. This is a really, really nice coat. So, like, trench length fur coat. Fully embroidered with a tree and flower pattern. And it's super cool looking. I think it looks really, really cool. I love the way the flowers are falling. And it's very soft. And there's even a collar sewn to it as well. And even cooler is that when you look on the inside, it's lined with a satin cherry fabric. And I think that is just amazing. Like, I love this coat a lot. So I know her outfit's a little on the simple side. But I will defend her just because this coat is so cool. And I think we just needed a corset to like finish it off and we would have been perfect, honestly. Rosie also has long nails. Hers are red with a gold tip. And to finish her look off, she is wearing a pair of, it's not really a thigh high, it's kind of a knee high. Yeah, because it's not the knee, the thigh would have been a little bit, a little bit longer. Knee high boots. These are made of a red pleather. There is zipper details on the top and like little strings hanging off of it. And then at the bottom, there is some straps with lots of buckles and strap or stud details there is silver heels on these those are just like plain heels nothing nothing crazy there i am like already i have a part of the pleather that has rubbed off i feel like these are a bit thinner than our usual usual uh pleather boot from rainbow high there's the stitch details at the top by the way and there is studs going all the ways around but yeah so that's a little sad i feel like they're not really on her foot either i don't know they just feel a little different than usual but they are a nice piece i'll give them that they are a nice piece all right moving on to miss scarlet she has the most gorgeous little face here her eyeshadow is actually super similar to rosie's where we just have kind of a pearly inner corner moment with a little bit of a red shadow uh, they actually look kind of really similar facially. Like, facially, they look pretty... I think they have the same head, so probably a reason why. But anyways, well, same eye shape, at least. Not the exact same head. I do not like her on this stand. Anyways, her lip's really cool. It's kind of like a lip stain moment where it has the lighter pinky red, and then on the inside has a darker, bur bur like, deeper deeper red. Not really burgundy. Well, kind of burgundy, kind of not. Y'all can see. But anyways, her, I don't really know if I love the blush on her skin tone, though. It's kind of orange-based, and it looks a little funny to me. Like, she looks a bit dirty. But other than that, I think we're really, like, super gorgeous. Her hair is like a burgundy blend here with some black streaks in there as well. We have just, you know, nylon that is down and curled. 
lots of products towards the end of these curls, of course. And we do have two little space buns on the top of her head. And we have sculpted baby hairs. On her head, we do have six safety pin hair clips. And then we have these really cool barbed wire hoop earrings. I like these a lot. These are really cute. So I don't know why, but like when... Let's see, when I do that, it's normal. But when I'm trying to focus on her sweater, it's giving me like this weird yellow in the background. And so it like the wash, it looks a little weird on camera. It doesn't look like that in person. It's really dark, like a dark burgundy in person. But it's just an oversized hoodie that says Storywood on the front. I don't know if she's the writer of Storywood or if she's just a really big fan. I'm assuming the writer because she's the creative writing focus. But I don't know. We won't find out. I mean, until they tell us, of course. On the back, we do have a hood that is just uses Velcro. And the hoodie also uses Velcro. There is real cuffs sewn everywhere. And it's really, really cute. I like it a lot. I love an oversized hoodie. I think she has the longest nails out of everybody, or they might be the same length as Pinky's, but hers are red with a silver tip. Or it's burgundy, but it looks red on the camera because it's doing that weird yellow tint. I'm so sorry, y'all. And then to finish her look off, she is wearing a pair of denim pants that have a zipper and they kind of unzip towards the end of the pant with this little Shadow High logo on the zipper. Here is the back of those pants. There is real functioning belt loops on the pants and they use Velcro. And, you know, I like, I don't know if I love these pants. They're a little funny to me. I think she actually would have benefited from, like, a skirt, like, with the oversized hoodie hitting, like, right here. If she had, like, a plaid skirt that hit, like, right here. I think that would have been really cute. And then she, Pinky could have gotten the pants instead of, well, even just, like, a pleated skirt like this and the denim. Like, I think that would have looked better. And then Pinky could have gotten pants instead of her. Like, that's what I would have done personally. I don't hate this outfit, though. I think it's very comfy chic, for sure. And then to finish her look off, she's wearing a pair of black boots. These are plastic, but they do give a very pleather feel. They say shadow right on the top, and then they have a burgundy sole. Moving on to probably the coolest doll in this set, and definitely the mother of all mothers, we have Barry Skies. Kind of a dumb name, though, not gonna lie. But anyways, I really love her gray eyes. So cool. For her eyeshadow, she has some, like, minty or, like, seafoam green going on on her lid. And then she smokes it out with a lot of dark black shadow. Love the gradient in her brows. Although the spray looks like it was a little off on mine. Like, my, what was it, Pinky? Yeah, Pinky had the same issue. And then for her lips, oh, they're just so cool. They're, like, nude, but then they have the lightest layer of this shimmery gloss and it's like a pink has a pink to it and it's just so cool looking i love the way it looks with some pink blushing on the cheeks her hair is super cute too we have this almost like tiffany kind of blue nylon and then it's just like lots of bouncy curly ringlets so good pulled up into a high ponytail there is a little bit of product but not a ton of product in her hair uh, her hair is definitely one I feel like you could just take out of the box and be good with because it looks really good. And then there is this one little baying right here in the front. One curl. It's just gonna, it's very long compared to the rest of the hair, by the way. <laughs> Barry also features sculpted baby hairs. She has these really cool, like, technology earrings. I don't know the, like, specific word for those little, like, things, like, little cable thingies i don't know they're like prongs those are all painted white and then they're on like a silver or a green a green translucent rectangle you know geometric shapes and whatnot blah 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 blah, blah. they're cool looking <laughs> so barry probably has the coolest top i've ever seen on a doll ever we have this like almost corset type of top here that is a motherboard and like all of these little pieces are 3d and apply like they're so cool i just love it and i love the shift like the shimmery shift to it i don't know how this is going to hold up like to time but right now it's really amazing like that they managed to do this on a 24 dollar playline doll insane absolutely insane and then like this the straps on it look like cables oh, so good so good and underneath that there is just a plain i don't think there's anything on the top right yeah just a plain black tank top i think we could have done without the tank top definitely would have liked Maybe like a bodysuit underneath it. 
or like of mesh something that wasn't this top i feel like the short sleeve top looks weird with it personally and here is her skirt this is also just such a cool piece in the front we have little cd holder pockets these cds are a part of the skirt they don't come out but it's just so cool and like almost nostalgic just looking at a cd holder like this it is a denim material too which i wasn't expecting we have functioning pockets in the back the belt does come off and this is also just like some wires and cord aux cords so cool i just she's just oh all the technology stuff is so good and over here, she does have a wire bracelet with little keyboard keys on it that say SH3 or Shadow High 3. And I really love this because not only is it like technology and, you know, keyboard keys, but it's also like a friendship bracelet. So, <laughs> so cute. Y'all know the Swifty and me is like into friendship bracelets right now. So now her nails are also long and like a seafoam green color. And to finish off her look, she's wearing these really cool like platform sandals, question mark. They're really futuristic looking silver paint details on the soles i love the way those look like little like tubes um so good silver straps like almost olive looking straps and then the, like seafoam green on the ba base of the shoe sh details shadow in the back or shadow high in the back just so good overall like this doll is so cool moving on to oliver ocean here he is his face no makeup of course uh, really th big thick brows. I want to say his nose is wider than any of the other boys we have and He has like darkish gray lips. I wish his lips were a bit plumper though. I don't think they needed to be this tiny His hair is really really cool. We have this hairstyle where we have six individual braids and His hair is parted in all of those sections too, which is really nice Ooh, And you can take it down and he has like a full head of hair so I think that's really cool. And we have this dark blue and black blend. There is some flocked sides for the hairline. And underneath, like underneath, there's a flocked side right here too. See, 2023, so I think, I think this is a new head. But I'm not 100% sure. I just feel like his nose is way wider than any of the other ones we've gotten. For his outfit, he has this jersey top. It's a tank top. We have some like decal details here which I kind of wish were like ribbon instead because I don't think they're going to hold up very well but you know it is what it is and like we have a shadow 19 on the front which also I think could have been embroidered but it is what it is we do have this really cool detail over here the little anti-sparkle tag 2023 I think that really makes it look like a real jersey which I love and then underneath that he just has a solid navy blue hoodie as you can see and that is like the same thing here with the hood in the back it just uses velcro and it's not a real functioning hood and then he's wearing a pair of jeans these are not skinny jeans though like all of the other dolls have been well rex's rex's are like borderline skinny these are more of a flare jean like just like a straight leg i want to say and then it's a dark wash denim there is a little stud right here for the top on the top and then there's belt loops and functioning back pockets and functioning front pockets for that matter so these are nice these are really nice. And to finish his look off, he is wearing a pair of white sneakers. Not a lot of detail going on here, but we do have real laces on those. You can see all the sculpt details. If it would stay focused on the back, it does say, or it has like little eclipse emojis. And there's a little SH on the back as well. And here are the soles. Oh, they're a little dirty. They're a little dirty. All right, moving on to our final girl. Here is Miss Lavender Lynn. She does wear a pair of glasses. They have black frames with little crystal details on the tips or the, I don't know, yeah, the tip of the frames, whatever you want to call it. I love the shape of these ones too. They're like very cat eye looking, but let's move them up real quick. What I think is really cool about these rainbow high glasses is that they have the actual like nose part on them. So they do lift a bit from the face like real glasses would. All right, here she is without her glasses. Unfortunately, they did stain her a bit, so I'm going to have to take that off. But thankfully, she has a matte face, so that shouldn't be so hard. She is so pretty. I just think she's gorgeous. Like, she's probably my second favorite. I don't know. I really like her a lot. Her and Barry are definitely my, like, top two. So she has white eyeliner, or, like, not white eyeliner, white shadow on her lid, and she smokes it out with a purple eyeshadow, brown brows, and then a pink magenta almost looking lip berry kind of like a berry color and then once again the orange blush i'm not really into that as much but i just think his face is just so pretty to me 
She is wearing a pleather beret, and this is a purple pleather with little spikes coming out on all the sides and then on the top as well. I think she has a really interesting haircut. We don't really see too often on dolls either. So on the front here, she has almost like a curtain bang type of moment. It's a little blunt, not gonna lie. And that goes to both sides. It is pulled up under the beret on this side. I'm sorry, this camera just wants to focus on everything but what I'm looking at. And then the rest of it is this really, really long ponytail. And I love this blend too. It's like a light lavender lilac moment. And she does have this little ponytail holder that matches the beret. She's wearing a pair of pearl earrings. These are just precious, I think. So cute. She has this velvet choker. So cute. With this little picture. I forgot what the exact word for these are called, but it's like a little portrait of some random lady. You can see that? Oh, I think it might be like the Storywood lady. Or like, it looks very Storywood to me. And I know a lot of people were hating on this dress and I don't really understand why because it's so cute and detailed. Like, it's so cool. So we have this lace, this really intricate looking lace on the top, this purple. Uh, lots of sewing detail or stitch details here to give this like bralette part a really detailed look. Two studs in the middle and then on the top we have a different type of fabric on the sleeve that kind of puffs it out a bit and you can see it also puffs out right here and that's kind of like an off the shoulder kind of moment you could probably do this but i don't think it yeah not really this is an off the shoulder moment for sure and then the bottom of the dress is this shaped pleather i like how it points up and it looks really good on the body the way it shapes to it or clings to it that all uses velcro in the back lavender also has long nails hers are white and to finish her look off, she has this pair of like sock heels. Yeah, sock heels. They have all these little different metallic appliques on it, giving this really shimmery pattern. And then this really cool heel. Uh, not sure like what the like reference is, but it's really pretty. And I love the plastic they used for it. It's kind of like a holographic looking plastic. There's soles. I think, yeah, she's definitely top two. Her and Barry, are, they're kind of tied. Like, I think they're both equally good. So, oh, I just love her. Like, she's so, just so darling. You know, like, pip, pip, cheerio, darling. Kind of like that. You know what I mean? All right, y'all. Wow, that was a lengthy one. But we are finally done looking at Shadow High Series 3. Overall, I would say it's a pretty strong series. I don't think it's as strong as the other two series. Uh, sh series 2, I think, is probably going to remain undefeated. Like, that was just bonkers uh but i think there's definitely some standouts here y'all know and there's only like one outfit that i really don't like head to toe and that is hers but everything else i think is pretty good i like all the, the accessories are really good this time i think too like really good accessories and i think this is a fun fun cast of characters i'm interested to learn more about them really want to know what's going on with storywood and yeah, that's all I have to say. So as always, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments and subscribe to the channel, follow my socials, and I will see y'all next time. Bye.